What is up, Clashers? For today's video, I'm going to be focusing on how to do a Govaho at the Town Hall 8 level. A Govaho is, of course, being Golems, Valkyries, and Hogs. It is a great start to learn as a Town Hall 8, considering Town Hall 9, 10, and 11 Valkyrie attacks have become so much more useful. We are showcasing three attacks done by a great Town Hall 8 hitter in my clan named Deep U. He's been on me to make a video for him for a while now, so here you go, Deep. This one's for you. As you can see, luring the clan castle is still very necessary because if your wizards don't focus the dragon or the clan castle troops in time, it can completely shit on your attack. He is using one golem to tank and about 9 wizards for the CC kill and to create a nice big funnel. And he uses a total of 7 valkyries for his kill squad to send it behind the golem uh, once the funnel is created to make sure they go right into the base. Now he uses 4 Earthquakes as well to open up a large chunk of the base. Your goal here is to try and defuse enough of the potential double giant big bomb spots and kill the enemy king. Then you start to send in your hogs on distracted surrounding defenses. It is best to still send them in a surgical manner if there are still spots for the double giant big bombs to hide. Now as you can see he got pretty unlucky with the pathing of the hogs and he loses a fair amount of them to spring traps. It is always absolutely necessary to save some cleanup crew troops no matter what town hall level you are to ensure you don't get timed out with that high percentage 2 star. A couple of wizards should suffice. Now he actually loses a couple more hogs and it completely came down to the fact that he had wizards walking around the outside opposite of the king that he managed to get the triple in the nick of time. But either way this raid is done, let us move on to the next. So here we go guys, another raid, all the Town Hall 8 defenses seem to be maxed here. Uh, he's going to use the, use the Earthquakes and a Hog to pull the Clan Castle troops. Uh, didn't quite get them all I don't believe. Uh, he's going to send in his Golem anyway and uh, looks like a fairly mixed up uh, Clan Castle. Couple of Loons, couple Wizards, bunch of Archers. Uh, just something to make it somewhat, somewhat more difficult to pull than the typical Dragon Wizard or uh, Dragon Loon. Uh, anyways, he created a good enough funnel that he can completely just send his uh, Valkyries in. He's going to use one heal on the Valkyries and save one heal for the Hogs. Uh, that was actually really good Valkyrie pathing as they set off a bomb and then ran away from it. Uh, so that was awesome. Uh, they're in the core right now. I think they're beating the shit out of the King and they are just uh, luring up all sorts of flip traps and uh, distracting the defenses, which is the main point of the Valkyrie kill squad. And then all you're doing is sending some Hogs around the outside to clean them up. And he placed them very uh, surgically, as you can see here. There's no more, there's no room for any more uh, double giant big bombs. At best, there could be another big bomb, like a single giant big bomb. But uh, his heal is used quite well here, I believe. Uh, I think he managed to even bypass one of the uh, the big bombs that his la late hog is gonna hit. Yeah, that late hog, uh, which had no purpose being sent in, uh, hit that one. And uh, from here, he can clean it up. Uh, he already addressed the fact that there was builders huts on the outside there. That's fucking perfect. Uh, you really don't want to be at a 99% and uh, with only 10 seconds left and realize there's a builder's hut in the corner. So always scout for that at the beginning. Uh, and otherwise, that was a very clean hit right there. Now for this raid, guys, I want you to focus his wall breaker placement and his wizard funnel. Now actually, I just watched this one. This base is much less good. Uh, the cannons and the wizard towers are not maxed. I think only, the only things that are the archer towers and the... Uh, mortars, um, but look it, it was really sloppy. He lured the clan castle with a hog as well It was uh, very sloppy how he played this even the wall breaker placement kind of got lucky that he actually broke in and the cannon wasn't Distracted or was distracted for long enough to ascend it, but watch the fun funnel here He, he puts two barbarians and two archers on that uh, outside elixir collector because he realizes he had the foresight to, to see that it was kind of sloppy and he needed to make sure those Valkyries went in because again if they go around the outside You're basically screwed you basically lost this raid because they're just gonna get picked off by point defenses uh, the heal was actually really well placed. He led it into the Valkyries, so he probably didn't lose any Valkyries there. And uh, Hogs are just uh, kind of brimming around the outside. Those Valkyries are all still uh, pretty much full health. Uh, so he's sitting pretty, and there's no chance in another uh, double giant bomb. Maybe a single giant bomb between the Archer Tower and Mortar. And nope, just uh, two flip traps to take out six of them. But otherwise, uh, this was, it started off very not clean, very gross, but uh, he managed to, managed to wrap it up in the fact that he uh, was able to have the foresight to throw down those two barbarians and two archers to make sure to take out that elixir collector to make sure the Valkyries went into the core is really what you want to focus on here. Um, he flexed the heal, obviously, because uh, his base was complete AIDS, but... 
the thing to take into account was even though it was sloppy, it's such a powerful attack strategy for a Town Hall 8 that when done correctly, it's extremely easy and fairly foolproof to just run through Town Hall 8 layouts. Thank you.